Hello and welcome to the. Uh, I'm just going to intro this. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Bring Bon Goes to Star League. Um, we're still waiting for players to get ready. Uh, we're waiting for users to actually show up. Um, so we're uh, basically killing time for now. Uh, and oh. we'll be casting an AI match between a match between two AIs. So yeah. <laughs> Well, first of all, let's introduce us properly. Hello, first of all, yeah. my name is Hugo Ab, aka Sam, and with me is the best German cast of all time. I mean, I don't sound German, so I, I, I don't classify as a German caster. <laughs> okay. The best uh, non-German cast of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'm Corey. Hello. How are you doing, Corey, today? On this beautiful... First day I just, night. I just, watched, I just watched Germany play eh, in football, so yeah, but, zero yeah. zero, disappointing. Yeah, kind of, but good game nonetheless. Yeah, but it was it was a fun game. It was just kind of frustrating to have people around you like, like kept yelling about how shit referees are and how every Polish player is shit and God. <laughs> um, alrighty then, let's get this. AI game started. Should be a fun one. Hmm? The last time we had an AI game, it was very easy versus very easy. Now we have two elite bots Ooh. fighting it out. Let's see how they do this time. Mm -hmm. Turns out the AI match is actually the greatest thing about the entire evening. Yes. <laughs> Just throwing out the best game. Yeah. In the first spot. Du, 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 du. Random elevator with music. And here we go! Alright. In the bottom right, we have spawning as the blue Protoss. It is AI2 Elite. <laughs> are you gonna do the other things? Uh, yes, thing? I'm gonna do. Uh, I was just preparing mentally for this intro to make it oh, super okay. sick, you know. And Sorry, I interrupted you. <laughs> in the top left corner of Frozen Temple, we have the Red Zerg player, AI Free. Wow, oh, it was horrible. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, right. PVZ. Yeah, PVZ, full first against normal game opener, I guess. Um. Why oh, is he sending the drone out down there already? 15 pool, it seems like. Yeah, just. I, yeah, it's relatively early. Sure. Uh, Another drone? Just. That <laughs> drone? <laughs> Maybe he was just checking for uh, for some kind oh, of proxy or something? Oh, yeah, he's, I think he's scouting for proxies, yeah. He's been really, really careful about this. I guess AI2 is known for doing proxy, maybe a can guess, rush, yeah. maybe a triple gateway. But for AI2 now, AI2 is doing the AI2 is doing the exact same thing though. True. For some reason. Both known as cheesy players, maybe. Might be, might be. Well, they are playing in the AI scene, so there's not mm. much intel about that scene at all. Yeah, we we don't really know much about these players, of course. Um, uh, double gas as is a this early. Uh, <laughs> this might be an indication for something really aggressive. We might we won't be seeing some really early tech from AA3 here. I I'm not sure what he'd be wanting to do with this gas. Otherwise, he's not even getting his uh, his speed yet. Does he even have links? He's producing two links right now. Yeah. yeah, but the worker count is telling the story right here. I think. 23 to 20 workers mm. at the moment. Nah, now he's producing another drone. 
certainly looks like some kind of rush, in my opinion. Meanwhile, we have the Protoss yeah. now taking his second gas and another gateway. Two gateways in total now producing zealots. A3 also keeps sending out drones for some reason. Um, he sent out to uh, one to uh, just third now, but he doesn't have the minerals for the third base just yet. He's sending out two. He's just sending. He's just sending one from the other side of the map back, and he's sending one there again. We have this little dance between the circling and the probe, at the ramp. Mm -hmm. Rochmore is going down. Um, I wonder if he's going to be aggressive with it, or if he's just going to be doing. Uh, just going to, it's just for safety. I'm getting up a third base. He's not really producing as many drones, though. He's producing Zerglings now. He's staying on 25 drones now. He's getting a few more now, at least. But he's very, very low drone count so far. True. And he, the fact that he hasn't gone for speed yet tells me that yeah. this might be some aggression coming with the Roaches. Maybe Roach Ravager push or something. There we see it. Actually, he's producing three, four Roaches right now. But the Protoss mm -hmm. player, Star Sense, the robotics is going down. Ah, oh, nice. Very, very nice with Protoss player. He's going to be much, much easier to hold off, of course, with, with, uh, if he gets out of mortals. Um, but yeah. <laughs> this is a really weird dance with a few drones, <laughs> that one probe, and Zerglings in the ramp in front of the Zerg's base. <laughs> now he sees the Roaches. Now the Protoss player knows yeah. something is up. Although he's he not gotten warp, he's not using warp. He's not, he's using it now. Okay, I was wondering for a second there. Um, yeah, of of it doesn't really have much of an. Doesn't that really? The rest don't have really have much of an army, despite having a really low drone count as well. Maybe rather because of that. Probe is up to forty probes now, whereas Zerg is on thirty-two drones. So. This is not looking good for Zerg, in my opinion. He doesn't really have an army that he can push into this with. And Protoss is just looking much, much better economically. I wouldn't. Zerg really, really needs a third base. I don't really understand the Zerg player either. He has no Valera available. He's going for the Hydra then on two bases. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the Protoss player goes for another robotics. <laughs> so we have. Two gateways, two robotics for the Protoss player right now. Immortal is coming mm. out, so he will be safe. One is Immortal is already out. Twilight Council is coming down as well, so... No Forges either yet. Um, so they're either going to be for... I'm guessing for the Glaives, he has a decent amount of... Um, or maybe a Blink, he has a few Blink stalkers, but at least a few stalkers, but... We'll probably prefer Glades if you want to push into this. I'm not sure, because... It can't make sense of any of this, really. <laughs> no, true. Now, third and fourth guess for the Protoss player. Pretty late, mm -hmm. at nearly six minutes. And yeah. no third base for either player yet. Hmm. Yeah. Templar Archive going down. Wow. Wow. Another gateway, the third gateway. Now, on, on the other side, we see the infestation bit, and finally, the speed upgrade. <laughs> alongside wow, with an evolution <laughs> chamber. Yeah, okay, that's a very, it's two evolution chambers and speed is very very late. He's taking the third finally at least, um, at the same time as the Protoss though, which has to be very much worried for the Zerg because obviously Zerg will always want to stay ahead a bit. He doesn't even have a macro hatch or anything. He's he doesn't even have the money for a macro. He's putting out a down a third Evo chamber. He's gonna go for like all three upgrades at the same time. Seems like it. It's producing an infestor, some more roaches. Mm -hmm. Ravagers are getting mixed into the composition. More guesses are taking the third and the fourth guess for the Zerg now. It's quite there's late. A there's a link here coming out that sees the um the High Templar. Um but Yeah, both of are just really just sitting back trying to macro up, but not really do it getting any any advantages in terms of economy. Um, both playing really, really, really safe. Not really doing anything with their time, honestly. Protoss is slowly but surely banking up a lot of money, actually. Um, would love to see that. Would, would, would love to see him put down some more uh, some more gateways, even. He really doesn't have many of them so far. 
Yeah, the fourth gateway is just now finishing up. He's, mm -hmm. he's researching Storm, some more High Templars are coming in. Also a war prison, maybe for some harassment right. or for a push and then reinforcement. I guess it's for, I guess it's going to be for reinforcement. I don't really see him going for much uh, harassment personally, to be honest. Um, just based on what he's played like so far. Some more information for, for the Zerg as he scouts more than links. She's, she's the Forge, she's... Yeah, that, that, um, that Storm is being researched. He pushes out a bit, but quickly moves back again. Not really wanting to risk it. Seems like mm. he wants to try it from the other side. Yeah. It feels like Zerg is just really getting every upgrade he can get now. He wrote speeds in the way. Uh, muscular augments, um, Zerg melee ranged, and I think Carapace were just finished up as well. A plus two started yeah. for the Zerg missile attacks. But Protoss for Protoss. Fort Protoss Fort is coming earlier than Zerg Fourth, and that's not nice. Seems like it gets cancelled immediately? No? Decided yeah, to fight? Nice fungal. On yeah, a very, very nice fungal, but. This little Prudence army looks really, really scary. I don't think he can beat this. Arkans in the front, the Immortals in the back, untouched yet. Only Stalkers yeah, and the Depths dying. Oh. The Immortals are doing so, so much damage in this trip. Fourth base is going up for Protoss now. No fourth inside for, for Zerg. Um, still on a still on a drone count that he's going he's going up to seven, 75 drones somehow now, all of a sudden. I don't even know anymore. Um, but his army's looking very weak. Um, Protoss is, is, is on a fourth base, whereas Zerg is on three bases still. Uh, still not taking a fourth base for some reason. Um, he's looking. It's looking really, really bad for Zerg. I don't know what to make out of this game actually. Hive is coming in now. We see more and more cannons for the Protoss player. He really, wow, he really wants this base's defense. We have six cannons at the third base. No, one cannon going up at the fourth base actually right now. And it seems like he wants to push now. Yeah, it would, that would certainly be the best, the best choice here, considering his position. Um, where's the war prism? Did the war prism die? Check. No, the war prism. Another one right now. He's, yeah. he's, he's going to cancel the fourth. Or kill it, rather. Um. Oh, one storm already going down. Nice bad. fungal on the f sentries. The, the fungal was really, really good fungal. The storm was really, really bad. Didn't hit anything there. Um, but it might still be enough for Protoss here. Actually, no. One immortal goes down. These hands are wrecking everything, and I think Protoss just loses it and loses everything. More units coming into the third, though. Um, Number two immortals. Doesn't have storm. Doesn't have. Doesn't quite have storm yet. Um, now he has storm. Oh, so many, and these are again so many hydro risks, and that Protoss gets cleaned up easily. Fourth base is going to be going down for for Zerg. Fifth base already for Protoss. This is slowly getting really, really greedy. Oh, Especially we, after losing this fight. Oh wow, we actually see the Greater Spire already morphing in for the Zerg player. Wow. That's an interesting okay. choice. And the mm. Protoss player decides to finally get Blink. He has, he has still two War Prisms in his main base, just sitting here. Probably telling jokes to each other. <laughs> Probably. Ah. <laughs> oh. A lot of zealots now in the army mix for the Protoss player. Does he have charge? Mm -hmm. No, he does not. Plus two ground weapons for the Protoss player are finishing up soon. Meanwhile, the first corruptor is first corruptor. First pathogen glance is coming up. Um, my go. The pathogen glance now is very very low. You might, might have forgotten that because considering how important it is for the fungals, he's gonna push out. I think he's gonna be able to take out this fourth base. Um, Protoss is a bit out of position. So this fourth base should be going down, I think. It looks yeah, like it's certainly looking like yeah. Yeah, it looks also looks yeah, like a really solid it's really army. Back in the oh, Ooh. really, really nice fungal. It's blocking a lot of the, the units in the back, and I think this is actually this might be it. It Just seems the, like it. Protoss yeah. gets cleaned up. The high templar don't have enough energy for storm. They die instantly. Now we're mm -hmm. models going down. One feedback lands. 
But it's not gonna matter. Yeah, Zerg's gonna cleaning be, up. Yeah, and dying down immediately. And he's gonna be able to at least take, to, to at least walk into the natural, hopefully take out the natural base. And um, probably win here even. I mean, one corruptor. <laughs> should just rally units across the map from this point yeah, on. Sure. And he's taking a really, really weird fifth base down here. But um yeah. I'd like to see him make that, make that one copy at least into two. He's pissing on the, on the road with this one <laughs> Wow. Did yeah. consider BM already? <laughs> we should just, we should remove him from the tournament. Yeah. Getting yeah, disqualified, this wow. There's no way Protoss defends any of this, uh, the more prisons are not getting taken out. No, Reserve players, <laughs> overall replace, cannons getting cleaned up, probes going yeah, down. He was just contaminating the Mexus. This is, this is another form of BM again. Yeah. But yeah, um. Oh, the probes! The probes! Can they get the Hydra? And they get the Hydra! Can they get the Roaches as well? We see a close battle. Probes oh. fighting against some Roaches! Uh, oh my god. It does it's not. So close. The Roaches are close. Uh. They're in orange already. They might be dying here. Yeah, I think the upgrade advantage is clearly in favor of the roaches. The probes only have <laughs> yeah. plus one armor, think, meanwhile the roaches are free to... I think roaches are really, really imbalanced, to be honest. They should be nerfed for this. Yeah, obviously. I mean, if probes can't kill roaches, something is definitely wrong with balance. David Kim, yeah, please. Yeah. <sighs> I'm, I'm not sure why Zerk is now sending Grub Overlords to the other side of the map. <laughs> but yeah, um... Fantasy DG timing, I guess. Uh, uh -huh. There's no way that uh, Protoss comes back from this. Oh, he's, he's taking a he's, he's rebuilding his fifth base right now, but that's not going to happen. But he's losing all of his production at the moment. Fifty-three probes already gone down. He's yeah. the funny thing. He's still at twenty-three probes. He's rebuilding one axis. Yeah, he was. He was, uh, he was and more than 70 drones at the start. Probably well. He's been continuously building more probes as he loses everything. Which probably isn't the best investment, but... Yeah. Seems like Zerg is now getting the every upgrade the... possible. I think there it's two Broodlords, right? GG. Yeah. Okay, can, uh, can AIs accept GGs? I don't know. Yes. I don't think I don't so. Don't we'll have to wait until he's killed everything. <laughs> <laughs> The brute lords are here. Du, du, du. Oh, man. Upgrades are finishing up. And a yeah, second hydralisk then? <laughs> I, was, I was wondering. Oh. I mean, he already has a Loki then. <laughs> yeah, maybe he thought he needs a new hydralisk then to produce more hydras for some <laughs> weird <laughs> reasoning. <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> Oh man, 3-3 three, three Zerglings are so good. Do we have the Adrenaline Grillance upgrade? It no, they don't. Have. Wait, does it not help? Not yet, no. No, yeah, wow, okay. They are only plus, really plus really one links, them. actually. Really? Yeah, plus two is <laughs> finishing in about 50 seconds? 40 seconds? Well then. Uh, I think we should leave us really. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna end this now. Right. GG, the right. Zerg player yeah. won. Point yep. proven, Zerg imbalanced. <laughs> Please nerf. Please nerf, yes. Please nerf so we don't have any Zerg players anymore in SSL next season. They don't belong in 2 Star League. But yeah. Mm. What a crazy game. <laughs> what a crazy game. <laughs> um. Is Matt here right now? I think Matt is here. He's at least online. Oh, that's something. Okay, let's let me invite all the guys into one big party. Party, party, party. This guy. Okay, Are you gonna manage the map veto thing? Alright.
Uh, he's starting to be Vito again, the, the person at the top right. I, th I think so, yes. <laughs> I didn't make oh, the wow. rules, to be honest. It was all... <laughs> now nah, all... I assume it's, it's top. Second. Um, that would mean that I think paper will have yeah, paper will be first. Yeah, yes, he does. So yeah, um, paper will be toast first, then then uses, and then I think paper will get first map pick, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Um, yeah, you, you kind of missed out on this really weird map pool, right? Sorry? You you kind of missed out on this really oh, weird map pool. Yeah, I did. I did. I forgot. And we have that map pool now. <laughs> so, the, the map pool actually is Overgrove, Habitation Station, King Seong Station, mm -hmm. Belchi Vestige, Moonlight Madness, Yonsu, and Steps of War. Oh, I'm really excited for Moonlight Madness, to be honest. Moonlight Madness was a really weird map. <laughs> Let's see if it goes through. I think for the Zerg player, it's, an, it's a nice map to play on, but for Protoss... Mm. I, I don't, don't actually like it for Zerg. I mean, I've always liked it for Terran. Um, as, like, obviously, like when we don't have a Terran here, but for Terran, I think it was a really strong map. Um, True, yeah. Even before the, the Medang thing. All right, best steps of war and Yon Su are being vetoed. Um, so we're going to hopefully see Moonlight Madness at some point. Oh, nice. First, First map. <laughs> wow. I'm excited. Um, so. Oh. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Moonlight Madness. Well, there are a lot of places where you can actually hide some proxy tech as a Protoss player. But taking a third base is somewhat difficult. I mean, you still have a pylon overcharge. You have a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have, there's, there's a Liberator especially. That's like, no, there's not a Liberator, <laughs> fucking hell. Um, there's things like uh, the Lurker now that's probably going to it might change a lot of stuff, especially in this matchup. The Ravage is probably going to change quite some stuff. And just the fact that we start out a lot, uh, that, like um, the, 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 economy, the economy changes, etc. a huge, huge difference now. Um, I mean, on Moonlight Madness especially, it was really easy to get to, it was relatively easy to get up to three bases, but the fourth base was incredibly hard to take. So, um... Wait, is it Liz's pick? What is that like? This uh, this is, is it was it not that this is paper? What's choice and the next one is Jesus? Or well, whatever. Well, I, I played my matches with loses pick to be honest. Oh, all right, okay. Oh, so I I don't. There we go. All right then. So, the first map is going to be Moonlight Madness. Um. I hate. Maps like this with this weird ramp setup and stuff. It's a really weird map. As I said, it's not. That's kind of like it was. I think it was like one of the that was like the arena of that of that time. <laughs> uh, as in, like it never got played. But I'm really excited to see it here now. It's always nice to see how the old maps work out with the new. Meter with mm. the new units, with the changes and stuff. Yeah, that's why I loved seeing um, King Sage on Frost back in the map pool now, and Overgrowth in Pro League as well. Super, I, I think that's really, really cool, and that's why I'm kind of excited for this now. It's uh, like this, like as I said, like, as you said, it's it's such a completely different, completely different um, game that the old maps work in like completely different ways now, and it's really fun. It's gonna be really fun. Okay, apparently Paper Wall, aka Drone, asks for a short toilet break. Mm -hmm. So I think what we should, what we could, um, 
Yeah. We could talk about very quickly is, is um obviously Jesus is one of the strongest players in the clan. Um he is one of the few masters players. I'm not sure how good paper was, frankly. I haven't seen him a lot. But um Jesus is one of the best players in the clan, has been ever since we ever since it was founded. Um but he hasn't played much recently. He's officially retired as um as a player. Um, it's really just play, playing these out now. So I don't know. I'm not sure what to expect from him here. I, I think he'll still be do a relatively good job, but I would not say that he's going to be playing to his best. No, I I don't think so either. And uh, let me just check really quick who paper we read. I think. There were some upsets involved in him. Mm -hmm. So in the group stage, Paper will actually top this group, Ooh. beating uh, Zella Dragon 2-1, and then Wopsytopian again 2-1. Who just joined? <laughs> I have no clue, but he left. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> but yeah, um, I mean, there's no, there's no, uh, no protest involved there, but True. Actually, that is Zella Dragon, is a Protoss. Regis out is. Yes, but yeah. I think Zella, Dra Zella Dragon was already on the verge of switching to to Zerg at that time, so I don't know if he really practiced oh, right. with his Protoss. Oh, alright, alright, okay. So, I guess we'll have to see um, how this turns out then. Well, what's your prediction? It's gonna be dank, says Jesus, and here we go. Players are ready. All right, I want, I want a prediction from you. What do you prediction. think? Prediction for the whole series or just for this match? Yeah, for the whole series. Um, I think Jesus is gonna take it three two. Because he has a lot of cancerous bolts in his back, and I think that's gonna carry <laughs> him through this series. All right, I'm going to go Jesus as well, and I think 3-1. Uh, 3-1 one. Three one Jesus. 3-1. All right. Let's introduce our players. In the top right corner of Moonlight Madness, it is the pink Protoss player, Jesus. And in the bottom left of Moonlight Madness, it is playing for the same team, obviously. Um, it is the Green Zerg, Paper Wall. So, uh, pound on the low ground for users. Well, it's actually something I've been seeing a lot more again recently. Like the start of um, the start of Legacy, everyone is just building their high pylons and high ground. Like literally everyone. And recently, it's kind of been a resurgence of uh, this low ground pylon for some reason. The thing with low ground pylons is normally used to just throw down a forge and go forge, expand. Yeah, but. Forge in Legacy of the Void is not as efficient as it used to be, except you're gonna do a cannon rush or something. Mm -hmm. Which uh, actually was what I expected, but instead he threw down the gateway. Yeah, I mean, this is, like I said, this is something I've been seeing a lot more again, not only in ladder, but like, I think I've noticed this recently, um, especially in, I think, was it Classic? Was it cl I, um, at least some pro type. Deer was it? I think it was Deer earlier today. That was playing in um, in SSL, and uh, was doing this every single game. He never put a pile on the top of the round, but always um, as a wall for the for the for the natural. Would I found very odd. So, hmm. but yeah, it's been uh, coming back again now. It's kind of interesting. Um, I think talking about the map is once again going to be kind of worth it. Like a lot of like a lot of um, Moonlight Madness weirdness comes from its many many rocks on the map. Um, there's, if you open all the rocks, there's three entrances to um, attacking that third base. And if you open all those rocks, the third base is extremely, extremely vulnerable. And even outside of that, the fourth base is very hard to take, in my opinion. I've um, always struggled, as pretty much any race, to take a fourth base in, base in this map, just because it's generally very, very open. And, there's so, so many ways to um, just go around around your army. Honestly, I, I can't even remember ever taking a fourth base on this map. <laughs> That's a protest way of doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two base all the way. 
<laughs> yeah. I think this map was in the map pool when I had my uh, two base mortal charge at face. Or oh, not charge at just uh, zealots. Soul train I'm all the way. I never hit you on that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, third base is going, is going down now for um, paper wall. Uh, natural is done, done for users. Nothing too out of the ordinary. He's taking down the rocks at the back of his base. Just relatively standard stuff. Bailing nest evolution chamber. Pretty much just macroing up. Nothing else in the ordinary. I wonder all. if he's going to take the rock down full. Yes, he does. Okay. Sometimes you can leave the rocks up at like really low health mm -hmm. pool and just close it out when the Zerg player is actually coming. Or any player is actually coming. Yeah, the problem with that always is just actually just missing something and then like it's it's a pro it's it's a bit it's, it gives you a bit more freedom. But it's always kind of risky. Because if you don't see the Zerg coming then well I'm in there in time, it's just dead. You're just dead. You just yeah. lose. Good point. So, the thing is to be like the better choice, but yeah, but the thing I feel is like with him closing off the rocks already, limits his, limits his uh, ability to take a third base rather soon. So I suppose he's yeah, going for that's true. an attack, and he's hiding the robotics bay and the twilight council. Could this be DT or chargelets? What do you think? I would say DT actually. Yeah, there we go. DT is trying. Um... Yeah, I mean, all, everything we've been talking about in this base, fourth fourth base and everything, is just kind of meaning this now. Um, the Jesus is going to be. Uh, it's probably not going to be in all in, I guess. The Jesus rarely happened recently, but um, he really needs to do damage with this. He doesn't... For Baning Drops actually coming Ooh. out on the other side. It's uh, the historical out. position. Um, no pylon, though, for, for, for overcharge, so... I don't think the, the, the overall can get through, though. This should be defended relatively easily. And yeah, it's still a slow overlord. Yeah. At that point, P, it might have, been, might have done some damage if user didn't see it. Actually, even now, if user doesn't see it, the, the stalker isn't going to automatically attack it, but he... Uh, he's is he pulling the probes? The is he pulling the probes after he sees He was just it. managing the probes there. He's, he should see the overlord. He's not moving his... Uh, an immortal is coming out. Um, oh, he's spotted the Overlord. Now he's targeting down with the Stalker. Right. He needs yeah, to pull the probes. He needs. To... Oh! Uh, Come the bailings! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! Well. Two probes only. Two probes so, only. That's... Four probes and damaged. And four Templar are being loaded in. Um, he might be able to target down his hatch. Uh, actually, relatively easily if he focuses it all, all on one. Um, Paper World doesn't really have any units. Actually, there's zero units outside of his queens. And this might be GG. This might be GG. There's no detection. I mean, he has the layer already. But even if he gets detection, there's no way to kill the DTs. Now Jesus yeah. is just gonna warp in more DTs. Yeah, exactly. There is absolutely nothing to do. He needs to do. He can do here. 11 drones have died. Um, even if Overseers are done. He can't kill the DTs. He, he can try to surround them with, with drones. But even more drones are going to die that way. 13 have, got, 13 have died now. He's taken up the third base. Um, these DTs are going to die. He's built, he's built a ton of Zerglings now, but he's at... How many drones? 29 to 48. He just can take a third base now. Um, I don't think he wants to. Actually, he's he's throwing down six yeah. oh, gateways, oh. charges, nearing oh. completion. Wow. Wow, okay, this is... Oh, oh no. He's opened up... This one is really open. If Paperwork gets a decent... gets, gets in here, he might still win this. The gates aren't done yet. Oh, oh does he see it? Does he see it? He saw it. He saw it. He sees it. He sees it, yeah. 27 banelings. Oh god. That's a lot for an Archon model to charges, take. Enchanted are not going to help him yet. He needs four seals for this. Preempt a photon good. overcharge. The building placement could help him. Yeah, he really needs like one, like a few sentries right now. That would help him a lot. That was a nice move actually. He sent in three zealots to kill a lot of banings already. Yeah. 
There's not as many bailings anymore. I'm not sure what he's gonna try and do with this with this now. Oh. Oh. Yeah, he lost everything and that was not that was not a very good move. Um he should have I'm not sure what he should could have done here. But yeah, this should be GG. Um Should be yes. He's gonna try and surround this, but the Arkans and the, the Arkan and the Zealot is gonna prevent that. There's more there's more zealots coming in, charges done already. Six bank, six gate was all open. He's he's got a thousand two gun bank as well. Um there's a highly list then starting now, but he's on he's only his third base is only finishing up now. He's on twenty-seven drones. There's no way these hydralists are gonna be done in enough of them. So this should really be the game. Yeah, these bailings need magical connections. Yeah, I but oh they won't get it, seems like. Some good connections here, but they're not good enough, sadly. Uh, and this, we should be seeing GG any, any second. Some more links, but Zelda's are just too beefy. Yeah. GG. There we go, GG. Easy takes game number one on Moonlight Madness. Yeah. But pretty much what I expected, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly the kind of game you expect out of Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Especially on this map. You don't want to take more bases and make it risky. You just want to go for sick all in. And yeah. at some point, Paper World was just building 16 drones at a time. Yeah. Without even uh, creating a single unit to attack. Yeah, I know that problem myself, but I, I've done that a lot myself, and it's not very nice. But yeah, next map is going to be Overgrowth. Um, I wonder if we're going to see any way to win out against an overgrowth. I remember that um, Proxy Hatch and overgrowth used to be extremely popular. I wonder if that's still the case. I would love to see Proxy Hatch. Proxy Hatch. <laughs> I think actually Cyrex tried to do a Proxy Hatch, or even multiple Proxy Hatches against me in a training match. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't remember the outcome though. Oh, okay, I, I've tried proxy hatching users once on an orbit of shipyard, but it didn't work. Well, that's probably mainly because I'm not a very good player. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What's your opinion on overgrowth in general, or as a Zerg player? Uh, I've. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I I used to really like Overgrowth, but it's, I've, I've seen it so many times. Um, I think it's a good map to play on, but it's just kind of got boring considering just how often we've played it. I mean, it's kind of it's it's been in the map for like four seasons in total, and now it's back in Pro League, and like it was just like the, the most standard map ever. Like everyone would always play Overgrowth. We just see you see it every single game. And at some point, get it kind of annoying. But yeah, anyway, um, in the bottom left, we're going to we have spawning as the purple protoss and his users. I would say the pink, but okay. I'm oh, sorry? The color. <laughs> no, it's fine. Oh, yeah. It's, what did I say? Purple. Oh, fuck. Whoops. <laughs> that is pink. My sword made that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the green Zerk player in the top corner it is Paperwall. Can he bring it back, though? That's the question. Does he have anything cheeky planned for this map? What do you think? I don't think he has, to be honest. Um, I think Paperwall is probably going to be the one to... <laughs> wow, that rallying on the probe. <laughs> Paperwall is, gonna prob is most likely going to be the one um, trying to be to play standard match here and try and just defend whatever users can, can bring at him. I mean, we all know Jesus Seed, we all know how he plays, so, um... Ah, oh, very nice, good sound hatch. Um, I think his motivation here really is just get up, get, um... Defend whatever he just throws at him, and then... But yeah, uh, next is first coming out, and again, the pile on the low ground. Um... We have actually the gas and the pool is a reaction to the hatch blocking, but everything is scouted by this one hero probe. Mm. Going out with one life left. Oh, he wants to block the third. Can he block the third? 
Yeah, Pipewell doesn't have enough minerals. He's gonna pile in Butter Third. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> this pro. This. This yeah. uh, cheeky pro. Uh, he's cancelling the pylon immediately, which is very, very good. Um, Pipewell is still gonna take the, the gold though. He doesn't hasn't seen that the third is that the pylon was cancelled. So um, he's gonna, just gonna take the gold. This might. Be a bad idea, frankly, if you um, if you consider who he's playing against. Um, I and I would not be surprised to see Nolan from uh, from he's again a similar type of Nolan. So um, and this fourth base location, this third base location would really really help him out in that case. But yeah, um, true. On the other hand, just gives the economy a big boost. You don't have to lose as much oh, yeah, absolutely. drones as you would need for the normal third. Mm -hmm. I have to it's see how like, it plays out, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, the, 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 the taking you there was my primarily reaction to the, to the pylon block. He scouted by now that there was no that the pylon did indeed not finish. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, it's a risky move. I'm interested in how he has he scouted it. He hasn't actually. No, he hasn't seen it. So he won't react directly to it, but we'll have to see what he wants to do. There's a probe taking a hidden base down the bottom right, I think. Is wow. that where he's trying to throw down some hidden tech? Maybe Dark Templars again or something? I mean, he would have. A hidden tech he would throw down behind the minerals, right? Yeah, and, and the pylon should have gone already down, so I think yeah. you're right. It's gonna be a hidden nexus, probably. Mm hmm. But he's, he's already thrown down Twilight Council again. It's where the robotics. No, oh, he's going to throw down a pylon after all. It's a pylon after all. So this is if this is Twilight Council, we have a pylon over there. It's most likely going to be another DT shrine. Um, I see if he goes for. A, does he have a robo? No, he doesn't. He just goes for a robo as well. That's the one oh. thing that, that bugs me actually, that he has no robo, because normally when you do this DT mm. build you have to robo to drop it in. You have to DTs moving yeah. fast across the map. But yeah, you are again, you are right. DT shrine it is. Mm. He's very low in units this time though. He's actually floating minerals and hasn't built any adepts of stalkers or anything. Only just one stalker patrolling. Yeah, sure. The main base trying to snipe scouting yeah, overlords. Yeah, and the ones that are blocking down the, the ramp. Although, no, it's really nothing at all. Does he even have a mothership core? Yes. Yeah, it was pa patrolling oh. outside to see if an overlord was coming. Mm -hmm. The only overlord on this side of the map is the one between natural and main base. Mm -hmm. Paper has a lot of queens, by the way. He's up to six queens now. Um, three of them are standing in the middle. Uh, in the natural. I'd love to see him just trying. He's oh. doing a lot of roaches. Oh! Is it be Do you see? Yes, it's gonna be Nidus. For Nidus is already oh. thrown down. Halfway finished. Is my, is, yeah, the layer is out this time. The layer is out. So, um. Uh, He's making the overseer, but on the other side of the map? That's quite unfortunate. That's actually really good for him. Because now, if he, if he throws down the Nidus here now, he has an Overseer there. He doesn't need to build another Overseer and send it over there. He, an Overseer in his base, he can build relatively quickly and have it there. But an Overseer on the other base would completely deny his push. And if he does enough, count, enough counter damage to um, make up for the DTs, I think he has his game. He might, ha he might actually have his game in the end. This Nidus is really well placed. No pylons anywhere near to Photon Overcharge. Yeah, very, very nice. But on the other there's, hand, there's, 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 there's a lot no of gateways. For, there's no units here for, for users. The queens are coming out, there's a lot of, lot of roaches. He's... Um, does he know about the about the DTs yet? No, he doesn't. He's finding about it. He finds about the, DT, out about the DTs now. Um, Honestly, the, right now the they're... Very least the, main base. Um, the DTs are not really doing much damage on the other side of the map. Two defensive DTs warping in when there's no Overseer mm -hmm. right now. The Overseer... The, the Mothership the is dead. The Mothership is dead. Um, no transfusers on the... 
Oh my god, where's the where zombies here? There it is. Third, it, it's coming now. But it uh, could already be too late. The DTs are doing their job. But another the, Nidus the, is going down. Lot of damage, yeah. Mortal yeah. is out. Go. More the DTs. Are the, the DTs are dying. Um, the Overseer is dying actually. That's bad. That's really bad. Oh, those CTs and the Immortal shredding everything, but Roach reinforcements are coming in. Even mm -hmm. from the front, just running through the wall right now. CTs are gone. Now it's just Zealots and this one Immortal. Oh, it seems like. Yeah. <sighs> no! Roach is the Immortal's gonna, gonna fall. And I think with that, this should almost be GG. There's 11 more Roaches coming out. There's no more in the Midas one for now, but. I think you should be able to do a lot of damage here still. Um, he's focusing down the... There's a lot of zealots. Uh, the roach is in a perfect spot on rep. Now he's moved up. The zealots have a bit more space to reach roach actually, and I think Jesus can hold mm -hmm. this. How yeah, much damage has there's already been more, done? There's more... There's more... Yeah, there's no almost no damage that has been done. It's 37 drones to 38 pros. It's 2 to 3 bases, so there's almost an even game here. I'm honestly really surprised I'm saying this, but this is almost an easy, almost an even game now. This Think stabilizes. It's still in, in favor of Jesus right now because there are no queens whatsoever. Every single queen oh, yeah. went through oh, yeah, the Nidus. Exactly. Yeah, that's a good point. Also, Jesus has a, has a huge advantage in tech. He's, he has a he has his robo still his robo is still up. He can, he's building a he's building a, a wall prism right now. He's sending it all across the map. He's already attacking and. There's no lava really left here. He's no. building seven seven roaches, and that's all he can do. There's a huge bank with no lava to back it up, and the third base is going to go down. Um, he's building another one right now, but that's not going to survive much longer either. I, I honestly think th this game seems over. The yeah. roaches are not going to be enough to hold this army. There's a lot of DTs involved. He can move. Actually, he does it right now. He moves them into archons. Archons. Mm -hmm. More damage against biological units. Guess what? Roaches yeah. are biological units. Uh, this is not looking good for Paper Wall. He's not really building anything. He's building a Hydralisk then, actually. He's, he's back. He's on two hatch of breeze. A, th a third one is finished up. But I mean, look at the supply. Uh, he uses this 30 supply ahead. Um, and. The army of paper wall is just basically non-existent. Yeah, this is a ton of zealots, and he has ten gateways to his command. He can mm. just reinforce with another round of zealots. Not as many right now because he's somewhat broke, but still. Oh, he instead reinforces for sentries. It seems. Oh, okay. I guess that makes actually. I guess that makes sense with his composition here. Yeah. If he, yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, that one Hydra. That one Hydra, yes. It wouldn't be jealous, but yeah, this is GG. Um, he just has too much. He's 40 supply ahead by, at this point, warping in more, more High Templar even, getting more Arkans, and this should be the two over for users. There we have it, GG! Jesus yeah, takes GG. the game. What a crazy um, series so far. Yeah, very, very much so. So, that means we're... He's just up 2-0 against, against Paper Wall now. Um, and... We're at match point. Uh, if Yeezus wins the next map, um, he's moving on to the semi-finals. And we'll be facing either... Uh, either Psyrex or Nibram. Another Zerg player in his path to glory. Yeah. Mm. So basically, he pulled out the same build twice now. The second game, I think, I, I think it was a mistake to be honest that he forgot his robo. Yeah. But in the end, it still worked out for him. Yeah, it did. I mean, um, I'm, I'm not entirely sure if it was the DTs that really saved him the game. Actually, they were. They were pretty clearly all saved him the game back in the in his base. He killed so so many so many roaches, but. Um, 
I guess had he had an earlier, had he executed it properly, and um, and gotten his robe relatively uh, uh, earlier, he would have probably had it even easier. Um, would have had probably at, would have had, probably had an immortal art much earlier. I mean, I really, really didn't think that Yeez would be able to hold this, but he did surprisingly well, especially consider uh, most of you are actually thankful for thank um, his, I think six days are sort of finishing up in time. But yeah. The, the Overseer not being with the army in that fight, that yeah. really killed the paper wall right there. Mm. Anyway, next map is going to be Belcher Vested. Um, I don't have any experience with Belcher Vested, honestly. I've never played the lap. No? <laughs> no. I was, not playing Star I was not playing Starker when I was in the pool. Missed out on, on a really great map, in my opinion. I know, I've heard really, really good things about it. I've just never played it myself, sadly. Uh one was actually the in the map pool when I started doing this, this one. Actually, I started off with one base, Robo, and then uh, Immortal all in basically <laughs> against Zerg. Mm. Because at that time, My I, good old times. yeah, I, I didn't see another another way to beat Zerg. And then mm. um, the team I was at that yeah, time, that. there was this one Protoss player who was pretty good. But he was pretty cheesy as well, and he gave me that build. <laughs> Actually, I won. Uh, I won a ton of clan wars with that build because I used it three times in a row against different zergs, and they never caught up to it. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, okay. I think the question we should ask right now is actually um, pretty much the same as that. Will you just do the same build again, third time in a row? I mean, it's been working well for him so far. I'm not sure if I'd be surprised if he'd use it again. Uh, honestly, I, I won't be surprised either. It's a pretty yeah. solid build, either for attacking and for defending. The, the key point is you can basically transform your DTs into an Archon at any time you want. And your original build, the follow-up with some Immortals and Charges, is not going to be hindered in any way. Mm. If you get drones yeah, with, mm. with the DTs initially, that's just a bonus. Yeah. It's it's a really solid build. I mean, it's kind of... Um, oh. Is he AFK? I don't know. He didn't say anything, I think. Yeah, he didn't. Um, but yeah. Uh, I think it's. I mean, it still bears risk, of course. If you don't do damage with your DTs, you're you're far down in probes. He's at thirty-eight. I think he was at thirty-eight probes the last time, the last few games. Um. Okay. What is happening right now? I have no idea. All right. Yeah. Let's try this again. Third time's the charm. <laughs> hmm. Waiting for party, but it's only me that's not ready. Hmm. Okay, we're having some technical issues, so we should be back up in just a bit. Um, do, do, uh, do, do. I need this elevator music for moments like this. <laughs> are, you, are you playing it on stream right now? No, I'm not. <laughs> I don't have it. <laughs> I, it's just on my to-do list. Get elevator music. <laughs> um, okay. So it's, a it's actually past midnight already for us. For Paper yeah, Wall as well. Uh, 
Okay, Mr. King of Twitter, tell me a story hmm? of your life. Oh god, what should I tell you? Can I talk to you about anime? Because <laughs> that is my life, basically, at this point. Well, I figured that out. <laughs> it's pretty easy. It's not, very, it's not very hard to figure out, really. <laughs> no, you just need to follow this guy on Twitter. Yeah. I mean, if you follow me on Twitter, I am your Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> By the way, of course you can follow us on Twitter. My Twitter handle is oh, yeah. at whoab, and his Twitter handle is at Corey Gaming. Exactly. You can also follow um, at Born Goes to Gaming. I think there's no underscore in there. I'm not entirely sure right now. Um, yeah, it's at Born Goes to Gaming. Um, you can follow the the, the clan Twitter, and where I'll hopefully be posting updates. I try. I tend to try. I tend to accidentally abandon that account from time to time. I mean, the, the last time you post, started posting something, the Proxy Tempest tournament. Yeah, I've tried like <sighs> updating on like tournaments we're playing in and CPL and everything. I tend to forget it every time though. Is there actually a lot of players or a lot of people followed me after that and liked my tweets oh, after really? you mentioned wow. me? Wow. Nice. It's really cool to see the reaction to that, so. Yeah, we have a decent amount of followers, actually, and that's what, like, 50 or something. It's more than I thought we would get. Now, since you're back in mm. action, you're gonna get hmm? yeah. you're gonna get the high count of followers. Easy peasy. Yeah, easily. Um, I think Paper is back online, by the way. Uh, yes, I bet. It's hopefully gonna work now. <laughs> Tension is rising and it doesn't look like it. Nope. Yes, yes, here we go. Oh here we Never go. Mind. Nice. All right. Right, Tell me about Belcher Vestage. Belcher Vestage. It's a great map. It's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> you have two watchtowers. Mm -hmm. Watch the middle of the map from both sides. Mm -hmm. Main base is pretty tucked in. There's um, some airspace you can get attacked from, but normally there's just a small ramp the front not really much surface area for anything yeah i'm gonna, gonna stop the introduction for now and introduce our players instead in the bottom right corner of belcher message we have currently leading 2-0 it is charlie Jean. jesus and needing to win this game really badly it is in the top left corner. Playing for Bongosu, it is Paper Wall. I am not sure if I like this pile on the lower ground this time, to be honest. But actually, we have to just really open up. has a really open ramp here. I'm not, it doesn't have a ramp in, at all, in fact. I would have actually almost preferred the, tire, the pile on the high ground, yeah. um, considering just how open this is. Yeah, I would. I would too. Even with a nexus first, I would go for the high ground pylon, mm. then gateway, then the gateway wall off. So basically, this probe is now gonna scout either way. If he sees early aggression, he can just close off the top ramp easily. Just mm. cancel the nexus, for example. Just be safe. Yeah. Seems like he wants to go for a third nexus. There he. Wow! Wow! Cheeky, cheeky! Wow. I'm pretty sure. Didn't didn't you didn't you go like three nexus before gates against Marshu? Yeah, yeah. Just like yesterday. I did. <laughs> 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 
See, I, I'm doing I'm doing that a lot. It's, it's more like a troll build, to be honest, but somehow it works mm -hmm. out pretty often. Yeah, it's it's mainly be, it's mainly because um, Zerg's just don't ex anticipate this. If Zerg scouts this, that this is like an instant win for Zerg. He just builds a few. He just builds Zerg, being takes down the third, and Protoss is super behind. Um, pretty much. If he doesn't scout it, like. I'm not sure he like obviously he sees that the gateway is late, so he should realize this as well. Um I'm not sure if he if that if that means he knows what's going on. See I don't I don't think so. For now he has only scouted the front. Mm -hmm. So there could be this this secret wallen or not secret wallen, but the wallen at the Yeah tiny ramp at the S ramp. Good point, actually, yeah, that might be. Um but he's building some Zerglings. Uh, he's building a lot of Zerglings, actually. I think he might might have caught on what's going on. Um, Maybe he just wants to cheese on this map, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe. I'd like to think he's caught on. But, uh, no baning list, so it's not going to be a bane bus. Yeah. It's just going to be... I don't know if it's going to work. The wall seems <laughs> smart off. I mean, he's going to take... If he, if he sees it, he's going to get the third for sure. The thing is, is he going to check it for, for a third base? Because um, tech normally you would not do that. Oh, no cannons going down. And the Bane nest right now. So it's actually mm. going to be a Bane bust. Yeah, and that's going to be really bad for Jesus. Yeah. That means Jesus probably won't be able to hold this. It's going to be super, super tough. This wall yeah. needs to be reinforced. This one pile, and he needs to build some structures behind. He doesn't. He doesn't know what's going on either. He hasn't scouted much at all. He's seen. He's seen gas, and that's it. There's the bailings. Um, Maulings are on the way. Eight maulings are being built currently, and I think no, as soon as reinforce the wall. This, that... <laughs> this is painful as as to watch. This. Yeah, it's really painful it's... to watch. <laughs> I can't imagine. And yeah, that's it. That's it, GG. That's, that's just, too much. just too much. And he has no Mothership Core out for anything. Yeah, 13 probes are dead. Uh, Mothership Core hasn't even started. And... Oh, he doesn't kill the forge. For some reason, but okay. Um, He's like he tries to anchor down the third base, actually. But, uh, hmm? yeah. Building cannons. Now the mothership core is starting. Seems like he's yeah. trying to save this. But every tech structure is going it's down. Not... Yeah, tech structures are going down. 33 probes have died. He's on fit. It's from 14, 13, 12. He's an under 10 supply now. Like there is no way he comes back from this. Everything is dying. He's paperwork is realizing now that there's a third base up. He's gonna take. He's gonna kill. Oh, there's too many, there's too many cannons here to 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 really win already. But I think he just needs to either rally his all his circlings or just a few paintings. Just just take just just go up to. He really just needs to go up to um. Yeah, honestly, once he kills his cannon, it's over pretty much. He can just get to attack the nexus, or just I don't know, go up to take gate to go take a third base. Get up to get up to hydras or brooches or whatever and kill everything. But yeah, this there's not really much else to say here. Oh, he looks pretty dead. Pretty, yeah, pretty yeah. dead. That pro is walking as people tend to say so nicely. I think the fact that he didn't uh, make his. Mothership core as soon as he could, and mm. the wallen. It's just too weak. Yeah, the thing is, like, um, the wallen is usually sufficient. It's just that if you play against the Benny Bust and turn scouted, you'll just die to it, especially with a build like that. I mean, three Nexus before gaze against any kind of cheese, you will die instantly. So, the Caddy Hat is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I think as as soon as he saw the the two speedlings trying to take down the pylon, he should have thrown down two gateways behind the pylon. 
Maybe another cannon. Mm. The thing is just like, do you know do you know what's going on once you see those speed? I don't think so. Like you, do, you see two speedings. Two speedings are relatively normal. Um I'm not even sure if you have the minerals to do so at the time. Spy is going down now and that should really end the game. Yeah. Spy is gonna be the nail in. But I think the actually the, the speedings were can... pretty fast, right? Hmm? The speedlings mm -hmm. were super fast. So but that might be a tell. Well they they, they, I think they were just relatively normal timing. I'm not sure, I, I didn't pay attention to the pull timing. But yeah. Uh, I would actually kind of like to see Paper will take like another two bases or so. He has way too many minerals anyway, so. Yeah, he, he could easily. But I think he could really just do anything, like whatever he wants. He could, he can go up to massive faster now and just win the game. It's giving a lot of overlords, by the way, despite already having a lot of supply open. Oh, yeah. Wow, this is painful. Now he's there thrown down two hatches and eight mutualists are on the way. I think he can hold it off for a short time. Because he still has photon overcharge, he might use yeah. it now if if it gets triggered too early he one. before he sees the mutas. Yeah, I think I think the I think the, the zerglings are he's relatively safe from the zerglings now thanks to the mothership core and the zealots. But I think he's just going to try to build as many build up as many zealots as possible and just go with charge. But that's not going to work. <laughs> no. I mean, he has yeah. nothing against these. Against outside of his cannons, he has absolutely nothing against these um, these mutualists. His uh, his zealots are just going to die once his auto never charge wears off. <laughs> He's dancing his zealots now. There you go, GG. GG. And we have our several series, guys. One, two, three. It is now four. One, one, two, rather, not one, three. Oh dear me! I hit. I actually hit. Accidentally hit the hotkey. And switch back to the old early. Mm. My apologies, guys. <laughs> tiny, tiny game screen. <sighs> so we're gonna wait for. Can you say drink's gonna be the next map? Ah. <sighs> Map number four. Um, I like King's Agent a lot, actually. Um, I think it's a relatively decent map for Protoss, but overall, relatively. Overall, just a great map, really. I just I really, really like King's Agent. Except if you play against Terran, then it's horrible. <laughs> yeah, Terran is, against Terran is kind of hard, but. There are just so many spots like, Terran can abuse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's true. That's true, but. Um, against I guess Protoss, it's a very good map in my opinion. It's very balanced overall. Uh, so it's also one of the most played maps recently. So I'm glad we get to see it. Actually, I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm glad to see it here. Um, so yeah, I'm. Um, Are you trying to say right now? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, on the top left we have spawning four bond ghost as the as a pink, not purple, pink protoss. It is uh, Jesus. And at the bottom spawn of King Sejong, we have the Zerg player. Making this series a real series with his win on the last map, it is Paper Wall. Can he bring it back now? That's the big question. Uh, yeah. I wonder. I mean, if, if, if Jesus goes three Nexus before Gates again, maybe. Otherwise, it might be hard. Um, he's got, actually, he's actually not going Nexus first this time, for once. Um, he's going Gateway first. Probably gonna just based on the 
location of the gateway. It's probably he's probably going to go into. Probably just going to go one gate, one gate expand. Mm. So it's still like, relatively standard, but you, he really different. likes his pilot on the low ground. I I can't understand. Yeah, that. he really really does. But hmm. Uh, I like oh, the wall at this round. Rehatch before, uh, before fourth paper one instead though. So um. Paperwall wins out, once again, wins out an opening this time. Um, and takes the ultimate read round, read route. Uh, you just can't really do anything against this from now on. I generally really like um, three hatch people pulled against Protoss. There's very few things Protoss really can really do to benefit, to, uh, to, to kill you afterwards, I guess. So it's generally, I think, a, a pretty good idea. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we we can't really abuse it in the early game, but I think mm. since you're going th that greedy, you don't have really the the army to fight us for a short amount of time. So there's the yeah, for some amount of time. But I think um, unless approach like um, I mean, you, you can get up preserved things relatively quickly anyway, unless you really overdrawn really hard. Yeah. Um, so you can like anything like. If you, if you, if a if a Protoss play standard openings like one gate expand, just goes on. I think two gate pressure can be somewhat hard to hold off at points, but even then, like it's you can lose a few drones, but you have a third base up so early, it's gonna, not really gonna matter as much. Mm. But this pylon is super suspicious to me. It's a really weird oh. place to oh. place a pylon. Yeah. But it's really easily scoutable as well. Yeah. So, I don't know, maybe it's just looking, trying to have vision of the rocks. Oh, there we go. That's, that's, oh, that's a tech robo. Okay. It is. So, no DTs this time. Well, don't be too quick um, on the Dutchman. Maybe he's going to follow it up now with <laughs> Twilight Council somewhere. Maybe. The, the thing. Oh, he doesn't have. Oh, he doesn't have Shrub out of them. Oh, forge, okay. The thing is, he needs to realize that this is not a tight wall. At least it wasn't in the old days. You can just run past the adept because it's not blocking off with the gas. If he has the assimilator built, mm. you can't run past. But if it is not built yet, you can just run past the unit trying to block between the assimilator and mm -hmm. big whatever this is, Xelnaga Shrine. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. This will technically be a See. opening, but look at this. Yeah, and paperwork doesn't seem to be wanting to abuse that just yet. Um, I'm still very interested in this forge. Actually, it's a really, really early forge. Uh, Twilight Council is going down again, actually, but it's not going to be. Any... I'm suspecting some kind of upgrade push for depth. Maybe. Yeah, there's a lot of there's there's more gateways. Yes, um, you're right. Wow. Prediction King as well. You have to. Yeah. Resonating glaze and the plus one. Game. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's killing his own probe. Yeah, he, um, he has to hate it yeah, when this happens. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's even worse when, when something like an immortal gets stuck in between buildings. I used to play for it, it hurts. <laughs> and you switched to Zerg because you wanted to be OP. I see. No, because because I wanted to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> nice joke, nice joke. <laughs> no, Zergs are fun, I like Zerg. But there's a lot of um, Zergs coming out. Is he going to try for... He, doesn't, he didn't build a baiting nest this time. I'm wondering he has he's gonna the try baiting nest, actually. He does? It's already built oh, in yeah, the natural. Does, yeah. I didn't see that. He's going is he going to try for another... Alright, this is going to be interesting. Um... Plus one melee attack. Up oh, he's right. Zerg? He gets in with some zergers. If he scouts, if he scouts the fort, he should know what's going on. He scouts the fort. He scouts. He scouts the tire council. He knows what's going on from now on. He, he's building more zerglings. He's not he's, building anything actually. He has a decent amount of zerglings, but he's all the gateways. He just needs more zerglings, some bailings, maybe even some spine crawlers. Where did the adapts go? There we go. There they are. Ten adapts are on out now. Um, a lot of bailings are coming out now. 
but he needs more Zerking Star. It's from 36 on the way, so this, I think this should be holdable. You can't if he gets some a... links, wow. That might be a mistake, actually. I think... Still has a ton of paintings. Holy, that's... Yeah, sure. If he, if he gets us around on these, on these, and if he gets good connections, then... Uh, they should, should go through. He's in natural now. Um... But yeah, this should be held. This should be held. Oh, he's running he's going the, to the, the wrong main. way. He's going the wrong. Oh, okay. Oh, but the connections. Really good connections yeah. on these. More banelings, more adepts dying in the main base. The queen is taking up. It's about to take up the wall prison. I there wasn't really all that many drones that died here. Also, actually, no. There's a ton of drones about here. Twenty-five. He's died to twenty-five drones. Um. He has 38 probes. He does have a third base, of course, but he's lost a lot of drones here. And oh, that might actually cause sort of. It's gonna be interesting. He has the Hydra then to his arsenal, but he has no resources right now to spend it. Yeah. His screens were all gone down, it seems like. Oh no, there's one. Yeah, really, really. He doesn't Spain speak. That really helps a lot. Um. He's going to be able to clean up these adapts, but he's lost a lot of units. And more there's adapts. more adapts incoming as well. I think these are not these are not a good idea now. Um, these should be backing up. But that was a huge loss for Paper. Well, he's out down to 23 workers um, against the 38 of these of users. He's uh, not going to stop. He's swapping more and more adapts. It seems. Oh wow. Oh wow, does people know that? He's building more Zergans. He's using now. He doesn't have any Banings anymore though. Um, he oh. needs a bit of time. He needs time for the Banings. Otherwise he'll just do it. Anyway. He can't engage with this. Alone. Can he? Also I think what's no what noted really quickly is that um, Paypal has plus one of these lanes which has helped him a lot in, this fight, in these fights. Um, and killed these Banings adept a lot lot quicker. But yeah, um, if he stays on, if he stays on this low economy much longer, at least that's just gonna overwhelm him, and he can't really go into more drones. I think oh, that no. should be He's pretty broke. much game. Paper was just broke. Yeah, there twenty-one is. workers left. The queens are dead, and where's the GG? There we go. Three-one for Jesus in the end. Takes down Paper and moves into the semi-finals. Gonna be up against either Cyrax or Nibram. Another Zerg for him. So, yeah. Wow, that was quite serious. It was quite a serious, yeah. Very, very action packed games. <laughs> I have to talk it was with very, him about it was a... the Free Nexus mm -hmm. thing. I need to teach him the ways of the Free Nexus before any other structure. <laughs> One second. Um, so yeah, um, we might actually get him on, on, on voice in a bit. Ooh. Interview with the Cancer King himself. <laughs> but yeah, that was a very useless match. That was um, very typical of what he usually plays like. So... Alright. So, we're gonna have a post match interview really quick. Um, he's here already. Uh, hey, Matt. Hola. Hola, Kensaki. How are you doing? Well, I'm feel like. feel worn out. I don't know, man. I haven't played StarCraft. I feel so rusty. <laughs> oh, man, that was rough. I came straight to the house and hopped on and. Man, the first game just felt so weird. Like I couldn't I kept readjusting my keyboard the whole goddamn game. It's like and I still don't feel like I have the keyboard in the right spot to play Starcraft. <laughs> <laughs> like everything just everything just felt like weird. Like I I got like on my mouse pad, I got like a little crumb on my mouse pad and I kept like fucking trying to flick it off and then it got on my hand and like ugh, it's just everything bugged me the whole series. <laughs> like I I feel irritated playing the game right now, but hey, I won. I'm happy. 
I mean, he still he, he still looked really solid in that match, honestly. I, I, except for that one game on Belshevester, that was. No, no, I should have never. I should have never done three nets on that map. I was like, you know, whatever, <laughs> mate. This map sucks for this natural walling off for one. Then I was like, whatever, just I'm gonna do three nets. I'm up two games. Whatever, let's just do something weird and. Try to <laughs> I, I try to copy Sam. I still don't know what supply to do the three nets. I had never watched his replay. I just seen him do it before. And I was like, whatever. I think this is right. Pfft, whatever. Let's do it. <laughs> Fucking just do it. I should have known, man. He was doing so many banelings, banelings, banelings. I should have fucking known. I should have like cannoned up my natural so hard. But I, did, I wanted to cannon my third, but he never found out about it until like after the fact. Mm. I don't know. And in that last game, that was a Terran build. I just fucking just randomly did a Terran build. I was like, I don't, I don't know what to do against Zerg. I don't feel like, I don't, I have another build that I, I don't want to do and I haven't been doing. Um, All right. I'm trying to save it um, just because I play so many Zergs in this tournament. And I, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm kind of taking it somewhat more seriously than um, I did CSL um, where I got 3 0 by Narwhal. My plan is to go to the finals and hopefully Narwhal will be there so I can get my revenge. But we'll see. <laughs> um, Sounds like a cool story, now, man. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. Like, that last game, I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to keep making adepts. And if he keeps killing me, I might make zealots, floating so much minerals, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I knew I did a decent amount of economic damage. I didn't realize he was going Hydra. I didn't pay attention enough. And I was like, eh. The only thing he's going to kill me is Mutus. I was like, I mean, if you went Muta. Yeah, I was going to say that was still Wreck Hydra, so I, don't yeah. I think Roaches might have been a better idea, actually. To go. Yeah, if you went Roaches, I, I ought to lose there. I mean, I yeah. still have, like, I had two more builds that I, I'm really comfortable with. Mm -hmm. That um, Actually, every single build I did today was stuff I really don't do. Um, mm -hmm. except, except the very first build. That's a build that I do. That's a really comfortable build. Uh, the second build was pretty much supposed to be a 9DT hatchery snipe but i didn't i forgot things i forgot my robo um, yeah we realized that <laughs> really I, ran, I, 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 like, I was like i was looking at the building placement i'm like where the fuck am i gonna put this and i i, and I, kept, I, tried, I kept trying to like like squeak everything in and then what <laughs> saved me pretty much was that overseer not being in place um yeah um and i randomly got a mortal out i didn't even mean to get a mortal out. i don't know why i got a mortal i think i just did it um <laughs> I think I was prepping. Oh, I th you know, actually, you know, I was prepping for uh, the follow up. That's what I was doing. Oh, like, when I sent my yeah. DTs out, I sent my DTs out before DTs to go snipe that base in the third. Well, I was like, well, there's no mm -hmm. third here. And I was yeah, like, oh I mean, shit, he took the gold. Oh crap, <laughs> there's a Nidus in my base. I did not see that. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about that, um, that immortal and why you had it out. Because I think if you, if you had, had you not forgotten your third base, you might have actually had like a, a second immortal or relatively early, would have made it even easier. Yeah. But just like. like just having that out already for your follow up was really lucky. Really lucky, but really helped out in defending in this, in this entire thing. Yeah, so. the, the bill goes three, um, nine DTs. That was way late. It's supposed to at least snipe one base, maybe two if you get lucky, some drones, force them to play like all defensive. And then mm -hmm. pretty much I turn whatever I save into Archons. I pump out two Immortals. Um, I already have so many gates, so I go ahead and get charged. And then I just push with charge a lot, Archon, Immortal. And it's a, it's a real strong, strong attack um, mm -hmm. if the DGs don't kill him. Um, the first game, it's almost the same exact build, except it's a 4DT type play. It's meant to snipe one hatch. Even if you don't snipe one hatch, you just pretty much bring the DTs home, turn them into uh, Archons, make Immortals, and then you pretty much throw down some gates, and then same unit comp. Um, Zealot, char or Charge a lot, Immortal, Archon. Pretty much telling all my strategies. I don't give a f I'm still going to do them. Um, for anybody it's very, watching. It's a, it's a very Jesus build. <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, you know, <laughs> Archons might be coming. My, yeah. You know, every once in a while I'll throw in, like, Stalkers. I don't know. I might get bored. I'll do it. Um, I don't know. I, I, I really want to... If I start playing this damn game seriously, who knows if I am or not. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. I have Stargate builds that I don't use. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to use them. I'm gonna surprise some people. People think I'm not good with Stargate, or I don't like using Stargate. It's not like I don't like doing it. It's just 
just don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, well. anyway, um, I think we might want to end the stream in a bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, I think we have more Bongo vs. Static games on Saturday. Yeah, um, me and him was going to play on Saturday, but mm -hmm. I think I was going to be busy at the time that he suggested. Right. And I know that um, our scheduling conflicts with uh, him being in another country and everything. So I was like, whatever, let's go ahead and throw this up here. I don't think it would be too much of a big deal. We've been pushing off all these games, you know, week after week after week. Mm -hmm. um, due to scheduling conflicts or people getting busy, so hopefully this will get the ball rolling. Um, yeah, I certainly hope so. Um, we actually had a pretty decent turnout tonight. I think I saw nine people when I got on. Yeah, it was was in between was like four or five, but it's going up to nine people again. We're still at seven now. So that ain't bad. That ain't bad yeah. for like um, just a weekday not. random. Hey, let's do this right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So pretty happy with the turnout. So appreciate everybody that stopped by and watched a uh, retired person play some StarCraft. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm not master level, but hey, a win's a win. I mean, that was a very easy series. That was a very, yeah. that was a very typical series of yours. <laughs> you know what? If I had it my way, man, I would have made DT single game just to prove. <laughs> I don't know. I I almost okay. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let y'all know another build. Oh no! It fuck it. I'm not gonna let y'all know another build. I'll let y'all know another build that I'm gonna do um, against whoever we play next. I don't care who I play. I'm I'm doing it. But I'll let y'all know off stream. But it's a it's a very cheeky, dumb. Why does this work? This shouldn't be working. This is stupid. Why is this working build? Uh, it's one I of hate those builds. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, I'd say we we call it. A night here. Um, yep. So thanks for thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching the Wrong Versus Star League. Uh, this was the first of four best of fives that are going to be played in the quarterfinals. Other other than that, we're not sure when they're going to be played. So keep that an eye out on Twitter, on the Discord, or whatever. Um, Cyrix against Omibrim, um, Narwhal against Django, and Fair Crack against Wopsitopian are going to be played out sometime within the next two weeks, hopefully. Um, I so played just... KU or oh, and I remember Cyrax. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. So, yeah, I hope you had fun um, with some cool games and with some, with some cool games in that best of life. And obviously, our little AI match. <laughs> um, and yeah, we'll see you guys next time, I guess. And goodbye. Adios. Ciao, ciao.